Content that encourages illegal or dangerous activities is not allowed on YouTube. Neither is content that risks serious physical harm or death. Mukbangs, 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 mukbangs. What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Papa Swolio. If you're brand new, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified. Hit that bell, I'll wait. Beard stroking, gratuitous beard stroking. Ah, let's get started. Well, I posted a poll here on the channel a couple days ago about mukbangs and the poll was, do you think mukbangs fall into the category of disordered eating. Now I talk a lot about disordered eating on the channel, more like eating disorders, more like binge eating, because that's a huge problem in the fitness industry and just the health in the world. I've mentioned this many times, 75% of the population is overweight or obese. Why are we promoting binge eating? Why are we promoting stuffing face? Well, let's get into that right now. Now, we cover this a lot too on the Daily Swole podcast. Again, if you're new or you don't know, I have another channel right here on YouTube, The Daily Swole, and I go live every day. You can also listen to The Daily Swole on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. It's available everywhere. Live stream show every single day. Check us out. The policy that YouTube promotes, all right? Their policy, their policy for posting content here on YouTube. I'm gonna read this right now. This is what YouTube wants you to post. It says, do not post content if it contains X, Y, and Z. Extremely dangerous challenges, dangerous or threatening pranks. Now, you might say that an extremely dangerous challenge would be a 10,000 calorie challenge. Mm. So that's not actually the rule I wanna talk about, but extremely dangerous challenges, challenges that pose an imminent risk of physical injury, maybe stuffing 10,000 calories into your face is one of those, just saying. Instructions to kill or harm, hard drug use or creation, violent events, instructional theft or cheating. Ah, here we go. Eating disorders, round of applause, we found it. YouTube doesn't want you to post a video if it has an eating disorder in it. So this is defined as content that praises, glorifies, or encourages viewers to imitate anorexia or other eating disorders. What's the other one besides anorexia? Couldn't put bulimia here. Couldn't put binge eating. Anorexia or other. Why? Because they make millions of dollars off promoting binge eating videos. Eating disorders are characterized by abnormal or disturbed eating habits which negatively affect a person's health, including eating non-food items. Well, I've covered so many people here on the channel that eat non-food items, eat food that is made to look like combs and guitars and iPhones and shit like that. It's disgusting, it's stupid, it's gross, but it encourages people to eat nonsense garbage food, yet again perpetuating disease and illness in this country. So. I posted a poll. What do you all think about mukbangs? Do you think mukbangs fall in the category of disordered eating? And it came back 89% said yes. 11% said no. So 11% of everyone that voted in the poll said that it does not clarify as disordered eating. Now, I'm not talking about you having a nice little plate of food and you having a conversation and talking and eating, which is kind of weird if you're talking to a camera, just eating some food. It's really fucking weird, but mukbangs, as we all know them to be on YouTube, is pretty much 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 calorie challenges, buying everything off the menu, putting on a table, making it look really slimy and just, oh, you have such opulence with all your garbage junk food and then people just stuffing face. So let's take a couple comments. I took a couple screenshots of some of the comments here. Bombastic Brian says, what once used to be a harmless cultural practice in Korea with reasonable amounts of food has been appropriated by Beaches turning it into a snuff film. I don't disagree. Next one, B. Scarano, unless you were just eating a normal meal while talking to the camera, but yeah, the binging ones are for sure. Yellow drapes, I believe it really depends on the mukbanger. The mukbanger, we're calling these people mukbangers. Are you one who bangs mucks? Some eat normal portions, but don't finish it all, and some go Nico Cotto. <laughs> That's true. Joseph Stern writes, look at Nico Cotto avocado, enough said. So obviously the vast majority of all of you, and you could drop a comment down below if you didn't go vote on that poll, but drop what your thoughts are. The overwhelming majority, let's just say nine, let's call it 90% because it's 89 to 11, 89% to 11%. Let's call it what it is, 89% of you, 90% essentially, the vast majority, think that mukbangs on YouTube clarify as disordered eating or qualify, I should say, as disordered eating. They're allowed. 
They get millions of views, millions and millions and millions of views on every video. Usually they have multiple channels. Most of them have multiple channels because they're getting so much ad spend and so much ad revenue. Why not create multiple channels and just blow all those up as well? So these types of videos just perpetuate this insanity that it's okay and acceptable and it's being rewarded. It's being rewarded. This is a positive feedback system. You are doing something grotesque and unhealthy and it's being rewarded with money. That's the reward that everyone wants. It's being rewarded with fucking money. There are mukbangers that I've covered when I was going on a spree and I'm probably gonna get into covering some of these videos again where I've covered mukbangers that were up and coming up and coming muck bangers that had 40,000 subs and they're getting tons of positivity. I'm like, why is this getting views? This guy is just following in all the other footsteps and now they have almost 200,000 subscribers just eating garbage, junk food, trash. You would think in 2020 and 2021 when literally, literally obesity is, I think the number one, the number one risk for having issues with the 19, obesity not being healthy, trashing your health, being sick. If you're not taking care of your health, you're gonna have complications. And it's really important to understand that these videos on YouTube, they're not protecting you. If you think Google, YouTube, Alphabet, whatever. If you think that they are out to protect you, they're not. These policies are there to protect their ass legally so they are not gonna get sued because of what someone saw online. You're not supposed to have anything that has blah, blah, blah. There are so many videos that have all of these things in them. And I think the issue is there's too many videos online. There are too many videos, the algorithm, the artificial intelligence, actual humans that work at YouTube can't actually check all this content. I don't see channels that are focused on hard drug use or creation. I guess those get banned pretty quickly. There are a lot of threatening prank videos out there or pranks that are high risk that might get blocked or banned or videos or channels that get blocked. Dangerous challenges, sure, violent events, theft or cheating. I mean, those channels usually get hit on pretty hard or they get shut down relatively quickly, I would say, or don't do well in the algorithm where people flag them. But eating disorder videos, Binge eating. I've seen YouTube actually take action against things that promote anorexia or people that are underweight, people flag those videos, people that really need to get some serious help, but binge eating is acceptable. Why is that not classified? Because if you're not, if you're skin and bones, you can't say, oh, this is just, this isn't eating disorder, it's my lifestyle. Like that person's unhealthy. But when someone's 300 pounds and they're eating Burger King in ungodly amounts of quantity, and that's acceptable. It's so disgusting. It's so disgusting, it's just, Unreal how that gets through. I don't know why people wanna watch that, maybe to make them feel so sick and disgusting that they never wanna eat garbage food again in their life. So maybe there is a silver lining to it, but it's definitely an eating disorder. And it really chaps my ass that YouTube actually continues to just tiptoe around, imitate anorexia or other ones. What could those be? Let's not list them so we don't have to actually defend ourselves against it. Because YouTube does promote binge eating. YouTube does promote just eating disorders. They do, they do. I see it all the time. I've covered many of these people before and I'll continue to cover them. I think it's disgusting. I think the calorie challenges are gross. I think it's just for clicks and for views. There's no other reason to do it. It's not a wonderful accomplishment. It's just a waste of money. It's a waste of, I don't wanna say food because a lot of the stuff that they eat in the challenges aren't really considered, it's not really food, it's just garbage candy and junk and processed shit, but we need to be having a conversation about actually improving people's health in this country. We need to. When we have viruses going around, really attacking people and really having major complications with people primarily that are, yes, elderly, but that have metabolic conditions, that have issues, that are have poor metabolic health. And just because you're not morbidly obese doesn't mean you have amazing health. You don't have to be 300 pounds to be a sick person. And this does not mean health at every size. That's nonsense. But the binge eating videos have to stop. They are a problem. They should not be allowed on YouTube. They absolutely should not be. Either everything gets allowed or that definitely falls in that category for what you should not be posting on YouTube. And I am someone that's a huge proponent of free speech. I think people should be able to post what they want and let the market decide what they wanna see. But unfortunately, the market is fat, the, more, the market's obese, the market is deplorable, the market just wants to see people stuff their face and act stupid on videos. So that gets the views. And I just personally think it's gross and I think it's just tearing our society apart one video at a time. It's not spreading a good message and it's getting more and more people to think that they could just eat whatever the hell they want, be famous on YouTube, and then boom, live a life of ease and diabetes. So what are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below. If you are ready to take care of your health today, and I mean today, check out the F Your Resolution specials over at SwoleNormousX.com. You might not know, but over at SwoleNormousX, myself and the 
Swolfam. We have full programs that you can do at home or in the gym if your gym is closed, if it's snowing outside, if you don't have access to good quality equipment, to good quality gyms, because some areas don't have them. If your gym is closed, all that stuff, quarantine and whatnot, check out swanormousx.com. You do not need a gym. You do not need a yoga studio. Over 150 classes you could stream 24-7, 365. We have hundreds of meditation sessions. Like I said, an entire kitchen, a recipe archive inside the kitchen with the Nutrition Jumpstart. We walk you through the elimination diet, help you customize your nutrition, make sure that you're eating the right foods that work for your body. We also have Swole TV where we have Nuts on Chin Unplugged, Drive Mall Gaining Uncensored, all the content exclusive for members that's too hot for YouTube, that YouTube can't handle. So all that content is exclusive for members only. Check it out down below, swolenormousx.com. Save up to 50% for a limited time, only a couple days left, so don't miss out on that. And I'll see you real soon for the next vid. Peace out, fam. Later. So don't go banging any mucks or doing any of that nonsense. I'm watching you. Papa's always watching. Stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all sheep. I done public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real free. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke, we in real emo. I said, stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. I said, stay woke. Clowns, you will not get a laugh out of me. You can talk, but you can't denounce. I live a different theology. Why I transfer to a new account? You just fucked over a prodigy. Posted up with a running crown. You are the king of the apology. You about to see a new side of me. I hope you know. We stand up and watch that enemy go. 